Today I'm going to share with you my top tips for a perfect perfect glowing tan. These are some of the products I like to use and the tips I use every single time. So let's go. Okay so my first step is if you're wanting to shave or wax just try to do it at least 24 hours before you tan. This will let your skin settle and won't show up all those funny dots on your legs that you sometimes get after shaving which the tan can actually sink into sometimes and it makes it just look a little bit less even. If you desperately need to shave the morning of your tanning routine i would recommend just finishing off your shower with a blast of cold water to try and shut up those pores as much as possible also the day before you tan if possible make sure you exfoliate really really thoroughly i love this one here by loving tan it is the tan removing and skin polishing glove and it's just really easy to use and works really really well i recommend doing your thorough exfoliation the day before just so that your skin can settle before the next day and so you get off all of those remnants of your old fake tan all of the dead skin Skin. Also, it lets your skin settle down. So if you have any like cuts, rashes, or anything like that that may have occurred from shaving or anything like that, it just gives it a little bit of time to settle down, you know? The day before, after you exfoliate, is also the perfect time to do a nice heavy moisturizer to prepare your skin for the tanning tomorrow. Just let it soak in overnight or for a whole day before. A tip I have is to try not to wash your hair on the day of your tanning because the conditioner can actually leave your skin very slick like leave a residue which can then make your tan not stick properly which is not fun but if you were desperate what I would recommend is wash your hair at the very beginning of your shower and use nice hot water when you're rinsing out your conditioner to try and get as much of it out as possible and get it off your skin and also go back over your body really really gently to not irritate your skin using that mitt to get off any excess product off of your body we want to make sure there's nothing on our skin that as a barrier to prevent our tan from working its magic. My next tip is to use a body wash that is non-moisturizing on the day of your tan and just target it in the areas you really, really need it. So here, for example, we've got this pina colada one and a lush one, which is super moisturizing. You don't want to use the lush one. You want to go for the non-moisturizing one. The lush one has oils and all sorts of stuff in it, which will prevent your tan from sticking properly. Like in the last tip, you want to avoid putting anything anywhere you don't need to so only moisturize the areas you desperately need to I like to use a body butter and then I like to actually wipe away the excess so that there's like no thick cream on my skin so I do that on my knees feet you know hands elbows etc etc and also don't use deodorant because you don't want a barrier once again between the feet tan and your skin make sure you let your skin settle as well after you moisturize leave it for a little while to soak in properly quality matters make sure you are buying a good quality tan and mitt the mitt is so important this is my all-time favorite one by any brand ever um, it's double-sided and then I love this deluxe bronzing mousse by loving tan you can get both of these products on lovingtan.com and make sure if you are going to purchase use this code you obviously want a quality tan because it's going to last good it's going to look good and this one has a color guard which makes it so much easier to use and you're not gonna end up streaky speaking of streaks my next tip is to apply it really fast and vigorous just smack it all over don't worry about streaks straight away and then what you want to do once your whole like leg or arm or whatever you're doing is tan you want to then pat it in so I spread it first like you can see and then just pat and this is actually so much quicker than the way I used to do it. I used to try and do it like so perfect back in the day but this way you can just smack it on and then tap it in and you will literally have no streaks it always looks perfect it comes out perfect every single time and you can see I'm avoiding my knees and my feet and basically anywhere else that is drier than the rest of my body I'll tell you in an upcoming tip but yeah this is my technique here's a little before and after immediately and it actually gets darker than that as well and I do the exact same thing on my upper body I make sure just to smack it everywhere don't forget your armpits and then tap it in so it's nice and even here's another before and after I love this tan so much it works amazing for me it lasts for like a week and it just fades off really nicely it doesn't like cling on too much to the dry areas and everything so yeah that's how i put it on honestly the color guard is a lifesaver plus you look immediately tan like how good is that put it on your face honestly like this does not break me out and it makes my skin 
just looks so nice I love it it does fade a lot faster because you do use a lot more like face wash and exfoliants and stuff like that on your face skin but it's so easy to do you can apply it a couple times during the week just to keep it up and it just makes you look so beautiful and bronzed don't forget your ears and rub it into your hairline it doesn't stain my hair or anything I make sure to get it right into that hairline so I don't have like a tan face with like a white line around my hair you know and then my tip for your dry areas leave these till last so for your hands I want you to do a creepy claw like this and don't apply any extra product to your mitt that's the key literally just use the leftovers like whatever's soaked into the mitt you'll get a really light glow it'll barely look noticeable when you actually apply it to your body but trust me it will develop darker so don't worry about the color guard just blend it in really nicely tap it in and do the same thing on your feet just use whatever's left don't add any more product you do not need it same thing with your face too when you're doing your face just use the leftovers it will all blend it and look perfectly fine now that you've got your tan on you want to let it rest and develop so if you're going about your day like me I like to tan in the morning chuck on some nice baggy clothes make sure you're covered up if it's raining because the rain will move the color guard and I mean if it's nighttime just chill in your PJs like chill in your PJs overnight and by the next day you're gonna be nice and golden now once you've let your tan stay on for the recommended amount of time on the bottle then you want to shower it off and just rinse off the color guard and you know wash yourself so this is when I recommend using a more moisturizing body wash one that has lots of nice oils in it to keep your skin nice and hydrated I also use a loofah like this just to give a really gentle exfoliation daily so my tan fades off even more even <laughs> in saying that though be gentle because you don't want to rub off your tan so especially when you are drying yourself after the shower pat yourself dry don't rub yourself dry so after a day or at least 12 hours that's when your tan will be fully developed you want to then start moisturizing don't moisturize too early because it'll stop your tan from developing to its full potential if you want a nice dark tan wait as long as you can hydration is key for a gorgeous long-lasting tan that'll fade nice and evenly now you saw I'm already nice and dark but if you want to amp up your tan for a special event or you feel like it's faded a little bit and you want to make it a bit darker these are perfect I love these so freaking much if you've been to any of my meetups or anything this is probably what I was wearing I even use it on bare skin sometimes but this will give you a nice amped up tan with a beautiful glow here's some artificial lighting because the lighting was so crap you couldn't see how dark it really was um anyway you can see up close as well it still looks so natural and just beautiful and healthy this stuff is so nice and it's really really nice and hydrating and everything as well I literally will wear this like anywhere like arms legs chest everywhere I think it's just a really nice addition when you have a special event or a special occasion or whatever just makes your skin look even healthier and just so so nice here's a little before and after of just the tan on the right and then the left is with it the shimmer and speaking of shimmer the last little tip I have for you today is to highlight your assets whether it's your collarbones your shoulders your um, chest area wherever I love this highlighter I just put it right on top of the areas I really want to put Hot. I don't really have super defined cool bones. I like to define them and my um, shoulders and look at that glow. It's such a nice addition on top of that Loving Tan bronze shimmer cream. Just blends in and just... Oh, I just love the effect so much. I only really do this for special occasions, but it's a nice little tip. And here's a little before and after. I hope you did find at least one of these tips helpful. Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if there's any tips you guys use that I am not using because I love tanning. It just makes me feel so confident and I would love to add some more little tips and tricks to my routine. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!